Hey everybody, welcome to Rider Skills. I'm Neil. This is the channel for motorbike safety advice and riding tips. There are days when I'm not in the mood for talking, doing anything. Don't even feel dialed in. But it's rare. But when you are feeling a little bit not comfortable on your bike, nothing's quite clicking, even if you're out, especially if you're out riding hard. And out for a spin, leisure ride, and you're riding pretty quick with your mates. If you just don't feel quite comfy, things just not clicking. Turn around, go home. Have a bimble. It's not worth it. You've got to keep dialed in. If you're riding at any sort of pace. Because if you're not, you're even more vulnerable. I remember 20 years ago, I was on a Kawasaki ZX9R. One of the original ones with the Ram Air at the front end. The induction row was epic it sounded superb it's a lovely bike to ride it was a very easy bike to ride as well it was like a an easy fire blade because the fire blades back then could be a bit twitchy if you were sending them on the 92 93 models this was this was about a 93 or 94 kawasaki zx 9r and i was out with the lads and we we're heading up into the yorkshire dales probably towards kirby lonsdale lake district and i was just not quite comfortable I just couldn't quite the bike was superb it was just me that particular day and I was riding hard I was riding with a few a few of the lads from the shop plus a couple of local lads we'd set off very early doors and we got I think as far as Settle and uh, we'd been sending it on between the built up areas there's all these lovely little villages and I've been sending it on and just as we're coming in to settle, you know, and I just didn't feel right. So I said to the lads, now I'm going back home. Because it was, when, you, when you're not dialed in properly, it's just a case of, you know, I'm beyond that now. I don't do all that racing like. I'm in a different country and it's, it's different mentality out here. You can't get away with it. They'll jail you. No shit, they'll jail you. Especially for doing the stuff that we used to do. But, you know, I turned it round anyway and I went back home. And had a nicer, easier bimble on the way back home. To be fair, actually, I did apart from a dual carriageway between Keithley and Bingley before they opened the Bingley section. And I, uh, I sent it on down this dual carriageway. I think I saw an indicated 175 down that stretch. They'd have jailed me there as well. This was before I... Uh, this was a company bike. It's before I left to Jeffrey's. It was a company bike. And it felt ever so fast. It was lovely. But uh, apart from that straight lining, I just, I just bimbled home, got home in one piece, and packed it up. And had a cup of tea. And got home in one piece. And it's just one of these situations where I thought, you know what? If I carry on like this, I'm going to end up in the trees. It just, it just didn't feel right that day. So it was good, good experience that told me, just to, to relax. You know, and I went back for good days, had better rides in the future. Not on that bike, which is a shame, because it was a, an amazing bike for the year. It's probably one of the best all-round bikes about. It was just such a strong thing in every direction. It handled well, it was comfortable, fast as a blade, but just, just maybe a little bit heavier, a bit more substantial for want of a better word. But overall, I just wasn't in the mood that day. And I recognised it, so I jacked it in, left the lads, and they went, yeah, fair enough. May have to get it right, I'm sure. So that's my experience there. I just had to recognise when I wasn't feeling as, wasn't riding as well as I could to try and go as quick as, that, as we were doing. Like I say, I don't do that sort of thing anymore. I'm in a different country. I'm in a 
country full of what we call dibby dobbers here and somebody sees your number plate and you're riding 10 k's over the limit they ring up the police it's weird i've got no inclination to ride like that anymore to be fair oh no that's bullshit yeah i have definitely have i still want to go out and have a race i'd love to go and have a maybe get a track day that's what it's all about now isn't it but i don't trust this girl it's just squirt up the inside so to speak she's seen me now um yeah don't get me wrong i'd love to send it on and have a play out one day in the hills and really have a bit of a thrash you just can't afford to do it because the uh, powers that be will take your license away if you get seen or photographed with their money making machines but yeah if you were one of the types that I used to be and you're out racing with your mates and just, if you're not if you're not 100% or your bike just doesn't feel right underneath you take note of that either slow right down and just enjoy the bike for what it is or turn around and go home one or the other and I did that day and, I'm, and I got to ride another day and exercise my speed thirst another time but I suspect if I hadn't have done that gone back home might have been one of them days where where things hadn't gone quite well enough for me <laughs>